sugar diamond here and uh, I'm only working with one studio light still because my other one exploded. Uh, you should go check out that video if you haven't already. So I'm sorry for the really crusty lighting, but you know, you gotta make do with what you have sometimes. Ugh! So today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you two of my newest customs. I'm so proud of them. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I actually finished these customs quite a while ago, but I never had the time to show you guys them, but uh, now I do. So uh, let's get the show on the road. I made two customs and that's basically what I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. And oh my gosh, I can't wait for summer. It's almost here, woo. Hey guys, let's introduce my first custom. Bum, ba, ba, bum. Here she is. It's Spider Gwen, or some people call her Spider Woman. Um, Spider Girl, Spider Woman. People have multiple names for her. Um, but yeah, here she is. Um, let's just do a little closey close up. So here is her. Um, <laughs> I made up this design. Obviously, it's inspired by her outfit, but um, this is my custom design. Um, so basically she just has black, you know, all in her front and then she has the little like webs under her um, arms in the actual costume and she has that little design on her back. I turn my best guys. It was really difficult to do it in a cat position though and she has her tail. I just gave it a little bit of a uh, detail because I thought it looked a little plain and obviously she has like her ballet slippers that she wears in the actual like comics and movies. Um, and then if we move to her head, she just has pink eyes, um, outlined with some webbed ears and inside. It's pretty basic, but it took me so long to make this. Especially since I used a LPS, um, that had a, uh, black base. And, um, it, it, yeah, it had a black base, so it took me so many coats of white. And then I had to go to the store and buy new white paint, because my other white paint was chunky, so that's always fun. So yeah, here she is. Um, I'm really scared I'm gonna damage her because she took a long time, especially like all this detail and her tail took a really long time too. Um, so yes, here's Spider Gwen. I'm so happy. I love her colors because literally she's wearing all my favorite colors. Like we're best friends, literally. Um, she's amazing. I wanna dress up as her for Halloween. So yeah, that's on my bucket list because last year I was Spider-Man. I don't know if you guys are ready for this next custom. It is literally so crazy and I'm so happy with the way he turned out. Yeah, okay, so he's pretty good. There's some like mistakes, but let's not talk about those. Um, he took a very long time, probably um just about as long as Spider Gwen, believe it or not. So yes, please introduce me to my next custom. It's Venom, boys. Here is Venom, he's basically all black. Um, on his chest I tried doing a little spider, but oh my gosh, it's so hard to paint there, so it doesn't look that great. But honestly, um, Venom's logo is already pretty much like this, so I mean, it's pretty close, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and then here he is, oh my gosh, I love his face. Um, and, um, you know, he, he's a great person. <laughs> we love you, Venom! And here's his eyes, so, obviously... I didn't, I didn't try to perfect anything on this because Venom is all crookedy and he, like nothing on him is like really perfectly aligned. So I just gave his eyes like a really jagged sort of paint job. Um, I even feel uh, like made some of the exact same like little curves if like, you saw the real Venom in the eyes. So yeah, and then I gave him his white teeth that I actually made out of clay. Um, and I glued those down and then I made him a clay tongue also. It's so fragile. I'm gonna be really overprotective with this custom. I don't want anyone to touch him except me. Cause oh my gosh, it took me forever to get this all secured on there and it's still not that secured on there. Um, but I'm so happy with the way he turned out. I showed my mom this and ah, oh, he fell, okay. Um, so yeah, I showed my mom this and then she was like, ew. And then I showed my brother, and he was like, oh my gosh, cool. And I don't think I showed my dad. Actually, it was one of the viewer's ideas to make this collie mold venom. So, thank you. Um, and um, I did it a few months or years later. <laughs> um, it's been a while, but uh, I did it eventually. 
I was originally going to wait to do this video and make a Peter Porker and, um, you know, just, uh, just the rest of the gang from the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse movie, but I decided that I don't really want to make them, or at least not for now. I have other customs in mind, and I will be doing an updated collection tour of my customs that I have made, um, in the future once I finish a few more of my customs. Expect that in the next year or two years. So here are my customs. Um, if you guys haven't seen the video where I reviewed my Spider-Man custom, you guys should definitely check that out. It will actually be on the end screen of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. Let me know which in the comments which one of these are your favorite custom. Is it Spider-Man, Spider-Gwen, or Venom? Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful and magical day. Bye!